Hi, today we're going to lower a song that you have uh, put in iTunes using GarageBand. Open up GarageBand, open up a new project. I named mine GarageBand Test. Go to the bottom right corner of your screen, click on the blue music notes. That will pull up a list of all the songs in your iTunes library. I'm going to go to the song Deck the Halls. I'm going to click on that, drag it over to my screen. It will import it. I'm going to scoot it back to the beginning. You'll need to go to Control and turn off the metronome. Now let's listen to the song and I'll sing it in this key. Deck the halls with bells of holly. So that's in the key of E flat. Well, I have a student that that's too high for and I want to lower it. This is how you do it. Go to the bottom right corner, click on the I. That will change the screen to this. You want to go up and highlight the word edit. Then in the third square down, you're going to click there where it says click here to add an effect. A list of effects come up. If you look down at the bottom, there's one that's called AU Pitch. Click on that. Then your screen looks like this. You're going to put your mouse over this little speaker, click on it, and in the center of your screen, on the left, there's something that says Pitch. So I clicked on the cents part at the bottom. It's at zero cents, so that's where the pitch is right now. I'm going to lower it negative or minus 500 cents. I'm going to hit enter. That just lowered it five half steps from the key of E flat to the key of B flat. Now we're going to put it back to the beginning. And I'm going to sing it in this key. <laughs> That's how you change the pitch of a song.